we're on a training camp, distance camp. This has been the past two weeks. Uh, we've been in the altitude house, which has been very tough on the body. Um, we're looking for some aerobic gains uh, for our next preparation leading into Olympic trials. Followed by Dane, second group. So altitude house, what it's meant to do is increase the amount of red blood cells there are in your body. So that's what we're trying to go for, which is very good for an aerobic swimmer. Um, so that provides more red blood through the body and more oxygenated blood, I guess. Go Sarah, go now. I did the Altitude House last year in the lead up to a couple of World Cups. Um, and it had a really good effect for my racing afterwards. Uh, this sort of phase for me and a lot of the other guys, we've just had a break from Worlds. So it's a really good way to get fit and get fit quite quickly because of the effects that the Altitude House does have on you. We've really tried hard to manage the load and not try and cook them and train them too hard because the physiological stimulus of the Altitude House is significant. Uh, you know, they're, they're sleeping at above 3,000 metres, which, you know, is, is quite high. So, um, you know, and that takes a load, uh, that has a load in itself. And, takes uh, something out of them um, and so if we were to push them in the pool we'd probably break them and send them home in a worse shape than what they arrived. So we'll pull, we'll go on the whistle, those three groups. We've been pretty lucky uh, to be able to benefit from the, the, the world class knowledge that the AIS has in altitude training. Chris Gore, Phil Saunas, Laura, Laura Garvikin, you know, they've really built up a wealth of knowledge around how to best uh, take advantage of altitude training and the open water program and the distance program from Swimming Australia has really you know, tried to tap into that knowledge and really ensure that we are putting in place um, the program and taking advice from them on how to get the best out of altitude. Our training for open water, we normally, we do most of it in the pool. Uh, occasionally a few squads will train. Like if they're lucky enough to live on the beach, they'll train out in the ocean or in a lake somewhere or something like that. And that's the main difference. We do do a lot more Ks um, in some programs. And then others, it's fairly similar. So it just depends on the type of swimmers you've got and what works for them, I guess. Well, I'm actually in the middle of a pool preparation. So I'm trying to get the best out of myself, getting a nice, anaerobic and aerobic shift, but I guess in a different way where I want to do it in the pool. Um, just see some personal best times and then after that I'll swap over, do a little bit more ca like kilometres in the pool, do a few more laps, get, get my stroke right, my technique right and get ready for Portugal.